Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Don Works, man. And look, when I'm in the wreck with randoms, man, I'm usually trying to be aggressive and score the ball. And some people would be cool with that as long as you're doing an efficient job of scoring. But, you know, then there's other group of people who want to get the ball, too. They want to score the ball, too. So oftentimes, even if I'm making all my shots, I'll have dudes that's messaging me to pass the ball or dudes calling me a ball hog and things like that. And the truth is I can't blame them because people expect a point guard to be a passer. And that's why earlier in the year I said, yo, if you don't want to pass the ball, don't make a point guard, bro. Just make it build a shooting guard and live with it like that. Because when you're at the two, you're not really expected to be a playmaker like that. I mean, you can be, but your main job is to score the ball. And listen, I love passing the ball. That's why my name is Downwork to begin with. But I got so good at scoring that I found out that the more I would shoot the ball, the more I would end up winning. Because I'd be passing the dudes and they'd be missing wide open or doing dumb shit with the ball, turning the ball over and things like that. But I said, bet. Y'all want me to be a traditional point guard? I got y'all. Let me get on my 99 pass accuracy PG right here. As you can see, I'm not even running quick first step, not even running a hyper drive, but I got all the passing badges on. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to look to be a pass first kind of player and I'm going to see how it goes. Now, as y'all can see, we off to a bad start. We down zero to six. And I tell y'all this all the time, bro. On most of my bills, my best defense is my offense. Because look, I'm on a 6-1 point guard and y'all know in the wreck, most of the point guards in here are like 6-9 slashes. So if a team goes into a 5 out and I don't have any rotational help or, you know, people dropping from the corners or the center dropping to help me on the drives, then there really ain't much I could do to stop these motherfuckers. And in this game right here, this dude was just getting dunk after dunk after dunk. And because I'm not looking to score the ball, as y'all can see, the score got out of hand real quickly. But y'all know how it is when you in here and you playing dudes that lose a lot. When they get a little bit of a lead, they start emoting, they start flopping on the floor, they start flexing and all this dumb shit. So I said, I bet. If you want to do that, well, I'm going to score the ball now. And that's one thing people got to understand, bro. You can't come in here and only pass the ball. That's never going to work. But you also can't come in and only try to score because at some point, the other team is going to key in on what you're doing and they're going to try to take it away from you. So you got to make a play. And that's what I'll be trying to explain to these dudes in the wreck. Like, yo, yeah, I'm scoring the ball a lot, but I'm doing that so that it'll open up shit for you later in the game. But the truth is you can do it either way because if you come in and you're just passing a lot and they see that you just want to pass the ball at some point they might relax off you a little bit and try to play a passing lane or something like that or leave you wide open but look i'm not even scoring the ball and i'm still oh getting double God. teamed now that oh, should be an easy hell. catch and shoot for this man i don't know what he's doing and that's another thing i be trying to tell people like bro just because you're off ball does not mean that you're not playing ass or you're not the reason why the team is down right now because look if your man is doubling and you're not putting yourself in position to score the ball then you're doing something wrong now look right here i throw this man the ball wide open in the corner that's an easy catch and shoot and when you're not taking open shots you're making the game hard for your team bro because you're allowing the other team to do whatever they want to do with no penalty and it kills me because it be dudes with the three logo under their name that be scared to shoot dudes be wide open in the corner with a three logo and they want to go run and dunk the ball bro i literally made a big man i had a 63 ball 
Every open corner three I got, I was shooting that motherfucker. I was even letting that bitch fly from the top of the key and from the wings. I did not care, bro. If you leave me open and I can shoot the ball, I'm gonna shoot the ball. A lot of motherfuckers just be doing way too much overthinking on this game, bro. Just shoot the ball when you're open. It's that simple. You got a three logo under your name. You got an 83 ball. Shoot the damn ball, man. But as y'all can see, man, we down three at that half. Now, if I was looking to score the ball, I'd have at least 15, maybe even 20 points by now. And the game wouldn't even be close to be honest with y'all. But as y'all can see, man, right here, look. Now they're going to leave me open because they think I'm trying to throw the dot somewhere. And y'all can see, every time I've scored the ball, I'm literally doing no dribble moves. I'm not doing nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I'm just walking around the court, and I'm just getting to certain spots and causing miscommunications and taking advantage of them. And y'all can see, we was down a lot, but we actually made a comeback, and we about to take the lead. So right here, my man's gonna get that lane still. That's some great defense. Now, we out on the break right here. And truthfully, bro, I should have got this ball. That's an easy three ball, but it is what it is, man. They gonna work something out, and we still get a three out of it. And I don't know what it is about being a point guard bro but anytime i give the ball up it's like i become invisible i'll be wide open and never get the ball there'll be times where i literally have to get on the mic and be like yo when i give the ball up bro 90 percent of the time i'm open just look for me rba the ball that should really be blowing my mind man because it's like yo y'all want the point guard to pass but y'all don't pass to the point guard but this right here is why i be telling people like yo you gotta turn these slashing ass motherfuckers into passes man you see how late that pass was now that i got some help in the paint and he can't just go run and dunk the ball now their offense is falling apart and yo speaking of free throws man in 2k24 bro do not walk into the wreck without some free throw on your build i'm tired of watching y'all niggas get to the line shooting zero 12 percent free throws like come on bro we need those those can make the difference i can't stand watching the motherfucker slash to the rim over and over again knowing he's about to get fouled and knowing he has no free throw on his build like yo come on man get real bro if you ain't got free throw on your build keep your ass in the park now again right here they're gonna try to run this pick and roll shit now we switch it that's some good pick and roll d and i'll hog the lane right there and look that's what i be trying to say turn these niggas into passes they got no passing iq and i'm looking like i ain't got no passing iq right there too but i really just hit the wrong icon i know i missed my man in the corner but luckily the ball gets back to him and he knocks it down now look i ain't trying to get on my mans right here because he was hitting a lot of shots in this game i think he shot like seven for eight from deep but how many times are you not gonna shoot the ball when i hit you wide open my boy like what is he doing and i mean look if you don't want to shoot the open shot i bet but then you wait for the defense to come to you and you shoot it like come on man you gotta make that make sense now at this point in the game they had lost the guy so i know that once this guy cuts down the middle the boss gonna go drop and try to pick him up so i wait for him to drop and i go dot the corner and he knocks it down because we only up three i'm trying to get some separation because i kid you not bro i don't know what it is about the wreck but it seems like once teams lose players and they got ai's the team becomes better i don't get it like yo for real a lot of y'all motherfuckers ought to be ashamed of y'all selves bro because ai players are offering more value to the team than y'all niggas man but yo I hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay, man, and as always, I appreciate all the support. If you ain't following me on Twitter, man, be sure to give me a follow over there at Be Like Dom. 2K24 is right around the corner, man. You know I'm going to be posting mad content over there. Anything I find out might hit the Twitter first, so be sure to be following me over there, man. And y'all already know what it is, man. Stay up, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.